morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I'm in the warehouse. I actually forgot my camera at the warehouse yesterday because I was here, obviously, organizing everything, which I'll give you guys a little update. So this is what I ended up doing yesterday and organizing some of the pieces. So we've got a lot to go. Um, and obviously I've ordered some more, but happy Monday, everyone. I thought I would put in some effort in my appearance. Like look how different I look when I've got clean hair and makeup on. Like, I feel like I literally look like a bum 90% of the time. And then the times where I just want to make a little bit more effort. I mean, I could look like this every day, but who can be bothered to be honest? Um, just waiting for Liv to come to work today and obviously pack your orders. Well, she will be packing the orders. I've got a lot of um, emails and stuff to reply to this morning. And yeah, I didn't actually have time to make breakfast. So I brought some sourdough and some avo. So I'll make that a little bit later on and a coffee. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to update you guys on. Not really, to be honest. Um, we'll probably film some TikToks and stuff today at work because Liv sort of manages like the social media side of things as well. Like we both still like plan the feed and stuff like that, but taking photos of the content as well. Um, and then obviously like TikTok content and like other content we both kind of like do. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a helping hand just because like I've got so many things to do and like making TikToks and content is just another thing to add to the list. So it's nice to have someone to help me out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just gonna wait for her to come. I just got my chef good delivery. Show you some of the meals that I got. Spanakopita. Oh, I haven't had this one before. Steak strips in pepper sauce. I feel like Peter would really like that one. Chicken shiitake meatballs and red curry. I haven't had that one either. The butter chicken's really good. It's a bit on the spicy side, but still good. I like that one too. Then there's lasagna. Oh, I haven't had this one. Smoked cheese quesadilla. And oh no, this one's so good. Ricotta. Um, Noki. Okay, we are home and Peter's actually made me some pasta. But he used a freaking what is it? Like a peppers. What's the chili sauce? Yeah. So it's spicy, and that's the only ones we had, so but I do a live taste test. It's not even spicy. I would have liked to add chili flakes into it, but someone's a little pussy. There's heat to it. Like I feel like my mouth would be burning like each mouthful I take. So it tastes good. Pasta about chilies is boring though. I don't get chili. Yeah, I'm just, it works for pasta. But it, like, you can't taste anything. This isn't that hot. It's actually, it's, I would say it's a medium spice. If that. Like it's not mild, like I'm getting water in a second. <laughs> but I don't get chili and why people like chili, like. <coughs> yeah, I don't understand chili and why people like it. Like, why would you want to be in pain, freaking snotty nose, runny, like basically crying? Like, how, how are you wants, enjoying your it's meal? Feel, it's all wants to feel hot. Yeah, but some people like that. I don't get that. I'm not that. <laughs> it's yum, though. It's not too bad. Well, if you said it wasn't, you wouldn't be getting it again. True. Mm. Maybe just use a different pasta sauce next time. Dreamy. <laughs>
Just realized I didn't vlog my morning, but I went to Pilates. I'm just about to go to Riley's now. Haven't been over to her house in ages. Thought I'd show you guys the fit. Probably gonna need an actual puffer jacket because it's freezing outside. So I've got my, this is the Supre top that I got in black as well. And then this puffer is from Glassons that I got last winter. And then these trackies, I'm pretty sure, are from Missy Empire, from memory. Does it say basic on them? Yeah, Missy Empire. And then my Ugg boots that I can finally wear. I wore them this morning and they were so warm. I'm obsessed. Can't wait to see the doggies. Hello. Oh, Whoa. he's skidded. He skids off the Oh, you might relax. No. They're skits. What's that? That's on my, um, what's it called? The wardrobe. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're just waiting for the car. We're done. Good boy. No. Good. Yeah. Wilson, who's that? Whoa. Look. Look there. Oh my god, it's so sunny. Good morning, everyone. Um, I mean, I can't really complain about the sun, to be honest. I'd much rather the sun be out than it be raining. But I just pulled up. I literally just can't even look at you because the sun is literally right behind my camera. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, I've just pulled up at Essentials. I'm going to go do a boxing class and then... In the warehouse today, I thought maybe today I'm going to bring you along um, and show you guys what a day looks like when I've got Liv in the warehouse because we've got a lot to do. Um, so yeah, I'll film that for you guys and that's pretty much it. We're there from 10 till 3 today and that's about it. I've got a lot of stuff to plan. There's some new stuff going online hopefully next week like the end of next week so that's fun um but yeah that's pretty much all i've got to update you guys on and i oh my god it's freezing and i'll talk to you guys later okay so i'm in the warehouse <laughs> so i'd show you guys what we do when we first come in so liv prints off all the orders good work liv <laughs> Um, yeah, so she'll print off all the orders first and do them. And usually when she's doing that, I'm like replying to emails, customer service, doing stuff that I need to do. And then after she does that, because I don't think there's too many, we're going to go possibly like play on the feed for Instagram, maybe film a few tickies today. Um, what else? I need to set up. Um, the backdrop either downstairs or upstairs because I'm going to film my Princess Polly haul here. Coke, no Pepsi, because it's, yeah, I know. Coke, Coke. Hello, everyone. Oh my God. 
So I was pretty much filming all morning. I had to film a Princess Polly haul. I didn't end up going to the warehouse like I said I was yesterday, but um, yeah, we just didn't have enough time. I'm not gonna be able to see you guys up there, am I? There? Oh yeah. So yeah, my house is a dump. <laughs> it's just got clothes left, right and center, shoes, bags. Anyways, so I did that. So now I'm gonna take off my makeup. I literally only wore it for like an hour and a half while I was filming. But yeah, I've got um, my PT session with Bonnie this afternoon. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing today. Might take these earrings out and take off my makeup. I may as well show you guys what I do. So usually I'll use the, um, what's it called? The Elemis Pro Cleansing Balm. I also need to get my nail fixed. It snapped off, so I need to go, I was gonna go today, but I don't think I'll have time. Um, I use the Elemis Pro Cleansing Balm, and then I'll use, actually, let me go get it. So I lied. I actually ended up taking off my makeup on Instagram stories, so surely you would have seen it anyways. Um, but I use the Elemis Pro Cleansing Balm, and then I use the muslin cloths from Kmart to wipe all my makeup off, double cleanse, and then I just put on this Laneige moisturizer, some SPF over top, and then I just mix in a little bit of these Drunk Elephant Glow Drops, just gives like a little bit of color to my face because otherwise I look half dead. But yeah, I brushed up my brows, put a bit of lip balm on. It's like my favorite lip balm. I want to try the beige one because this is running out. Definitely recommend this. Yeah, I'm going to go um, probably heat up a chef good meal and then be on my way. on charge as I'm filming this so hopefully the battery doesn't die but I just got into the warehouse I'm here with Liv today again I'm only really in when Liv's in and that's three days a week and the other two days I'm off doing my own thing um sometimes I'm here sometimes I'm not most of the time I'll just be at home if Liv's not here but like obviously while she's still kind of learning um and needing my help I'll be here the days that she is here um but yeah I I don't know, I've been going to bed like quite late recently. So that means I haven't been waking up early to go to like my essentials classes. Yesterday, I no, yesterday I didn't go. I was supposed to go. This morning, I mean, I could have gone, but I didn't, I just slept in. Um, so I think I've only gone to one like earlier morning session this week. And yeah, like I just don't feel good. Like when I wake up a bit later and go to bed late, I wake up and feel like groggy and just like, I don't know, like my mind isn't clear, you know? It's just a weird feeling. So yeah, I need to start going to bed earlier and earlier again and get my sleeping pattern in check. Um, but yeah, today, oh, we're having put the lights on. I was wondering why it was so dark in here. Yeah, today, obviously we're in the warehouse packing orders, doing some social content. Thought I'd show you guys my outfit. These are the lioness pants from Princess Polly. Um, I did film a Princess Polly haul, I don't know if I told you, yesterday. So there's some really cute winter pieces in there. So that'll be up ASAP. And then this tank is actually from Georgia and Joseph, which is Riley's, one of Riley's brands. She gave it to me the other day, obsessed, like so obsessed. And then this is my H&M Bolero. And then I'm wearing my other boots because it is actually freezing today. I think it's six degrees. I never remembered the Gold Coast getting this cold, but here we are. Um, so yeah, that's my fit. I've actually put the heater on 27 degrees because it is freezing 
up here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and start setting up and I will probably check in with you guys later on today. And also look at my skin. So I actually use that goop. It's like a, it's kind of like the, uh, glow pad. So it's like a sachet and inside the sachet is like the liquid and then like a pad. Um, and you put it all over your face. I think it's, it's like a glycolic peel or something like that with heaps of really good ingredients. It was really expensive. It was the pack that me and Riley shared when we went to Sydney and we got four each. Although you get so much liquid in the sachet. So I actually cut the pad in half because it was so large and I used half of it on my face and it was like more than enough um, like product to cover my face and my neck. Um, and you're meant to leave it on overnight and then wash it off the next day. And then I actually put on some moisturizer like 20 minutes after once it completely dried. It felt a little bit tingly on my face, but I would have to say like my skin is glowing. Um, it was recommended from one of Riley's friends and she swears by it. She does it like before like events or shoots or whatever, any sort of special occasion. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a special occasion, but um, yeah, my skin like it's incredible. I was taking selfies in the car with like the light and usually I don't like direct sunlight photos because you can see like every bit of texture and I was like feeling myself. So yeah, I will leave that product down below. We got it from Mecca. But yeah, it's from the brand Goop. So random, never heard of it before. But like, look at my skin. Like I wouldn't say like that's the main reason why my skin looks like this. Obviously I have regular treatments at skin. As you saw, I've got needling and microdermabrasion, which I got the other day. And then I've obviously been taking the JS Health Hair and Energy. And I've also started taking the hair and, no, skin and digestion tablets as well. I'm, I think I've just finished my first week on them. Um, but yeah, it's like a combination of things. Skincare, obviously what you eat is also, also contributes to your skin. I don't eat a lot of dairy at all. Like the only times I'll eat dairy is when I'm out. Like I don't really watch what I eat when I'm out, but at home, like I don't really have yogurt, cheese, cow's milk. Like I literally don't eat dairy at home. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling now and I will talk to you later in the day. everyone happy saturday i've just washed my hair this morning and blow dried it a bit i haven't done an unboxing in so long i feel like when i get like heaps of parcels i'm more likely to do like a tiktok unboxing you know like i love watching tiktok unboxing so i was gonna pile this up and do it on tiktok but i was like you know what i've been neglecting you guys here and i haven't done like a proper unboxing in a while so i'm going to do it on the vlog so, I'm excited for some of these, actually. Okay, so I got this parcel. I'm not sure what it is, actually. But it's a massive box. How cute is that? It says Jazz and Riley. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Oh my God, two. I'm actually going to Riley's house tonight. We're gonna have a barbecue. Dear Jazz and Riley, happy National Best Friend Day. I hope you guys love these personalized PJs and candles. Oh my God, that is cute. It's the same company that sent me those PJs. Was it last week? Okay, I feel like this might be mine. Oh, it's a gown. So I placed an order from Boohoo. I haven't shopped on Boohoo since. It's been a while. I feel like I haven't really seen Boohoo like floating around on Instagram anymore. I know that they did stop like social posts with influencers. Um, I don't actually know what happened, but I was in contract with them ages ago and then I don't know, something must have happened and now I just don't see anyone posting about them. But I recently uh, wore a um, bodysuit 
and I was like, oh my god, this is actually so nice. I forgot I even had it. Um, and it was from Boohoo. So I thought I would jump on and grab some more because I really loved how it was double layered. Boohoo's probably not someone that I should be supporting, like over smaller, more sustainable businesses. Um, but I actually couldn't find something like this. Although there was some on Skims, but not in my size. They are so similar to the Skims bodysuit. So I got this one. It's like a slinky, but double lined, like really comfortable as well. Um, so I got a black version and then I got, I think I got a, should I get a white version? I got some long sleeve ones, obviously for winter. Yeah. So like a long sleeve white version and then I got, what's this one? Oh, this one doesn't feel the same. It's this one looks see-through from the back not double lined like these maybe these are like a certain yes yeah, slinky double layer plunge long sleeve bodysuit these ones are not double layered so who knows with that one and then we've got oh this is double layered long sleeve black one and then i got another nude one Oh, they've chained. Oh, why have they given me a 12? This one doesn't look right. This is not the same as the one that I have. It's so thin and I'm pretty sure I ordered a 10. So yeah, I'm not surprised to be honest. <laughs> so I got those from Boohoo. Oh, why is this double? Okay, random. So this is Huda Beauty. Oh my god, I wanted to try her concealer. I actually, when I was in Sephora trying to get her um, translucent powder, which is amazing, by the way. I actually can't find where mine is, so that's why I went into Sephora when I was in Sydney. And I tried to find the concealer, but they probably weren't even out yet. Um, but they, I swear it was advertised there. Anyways, oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. So this is her new... <gasps> This is what I literally went into Sephora for. The banana bread loose baking and setting powder. What are the odds of that? Oh my God, I'm so happy to have this. This is such a nice um, loose powder, like a really nice one, really fine, like finely milled. And then this is a brush. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. Thank you so much. They're probably not even watching this. Oh, it is actually quite dark. It's not like a light concealer. Like, it feels really nice on the skin. Maybe it's more for like spot, um, like spot treating pimples, like on the face, like not for brightening underneath the eyes, unless I do get a lighter color. But these colors are all like darker colors. Anyways, very grateful to have received this. So thank you so much. Huda, got one from Gymshark, which is so random because I didn't even know that they had my dress. Because this was sent to mum's house. And this colour is amazing. Look at that colour. I haven't actually worn Gymshark in ages. Cute top. Oh my god, cute. They're quite cute. I love these colours. Thank you so much. Okay, last but not least. My camera's about to die. Hi. And my apartment's a mess. I ordered a... Kind of like a book... Book holder? kind of thing just to kind of like put next to my study desk because it just looks very bland and I just feel like it needs something there and I don't really want a lamp or anything so I saw this on Laura Amy's story I don't know if actually you probably know who she is um I just love her vibe all her decor is just like so up my alley I love everything that she buys for her apartment and I saw this and I was like, I need this. It's so random. Like it looks so random, but I don't know. Like she just styled it so nicely. It's pretty cool. Like I reckon it would look really cool there. Isn't that cool? That's cool, hey. 
I feel like Riley would like this because she likes weird stuff like this. Like it's not normally my my jam, but like I said, when I saw her have it, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in this place after I put it down. Okay, don't mind what's on the table at the moment. Is that cool? I don't know, like it's obviously like I still need to design this space. Um, oh yeah, they're the prints up. I'm just not sure if they like kind of, I mean, they could, I just, I don't know. This whole space needs to be thought out and everything. But um, yeah, I got some tulips, very cute. I don't even know if this is gonna stay there. But like, I'm thinking like old little, like magazine type books, I don't know. But like that is cool there, I think. I don't know, what do you guys think? Or if it looks weird, I guess I could just put it in the warehouse downstairs or something or like do something with it. But I don't know, I was just obsessed with it when I saw it um, on her page. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that plant. It's just not really the vibe anymore, but um, yeah. I'm just about to go and get a few groceries, but how cool are these glasses? They're from Princess Polly. They are sick. They give me obviously old school vibes, but still like wearable, like not like too funny. I'm gonna wear these today. I really like them. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go down um, and get a few uh, groceries and I will see you guys later. I don't drink holy shit so we ended up going to pink monkey last night holy shit um like to meet a few people there and it was one of the girls birthdays so we just stayed and we we're gonna leave at 9 30 because like oh yeah a bit bored like didn't really want to have a big one and we ended up staying till 1am, so yeah. Like as we were about to leave, we were downstairs. Vita found a, like a friend that he um, knows. And then we just all went back upstairs and stayed there till 1am, so yeah. I literally never drink, ever. Like I'll only ever have like three Macs when I go out, just cause it's just not for me. And I don't even know how many I had last night. I met so many of you guys in the bathroom though. Which was fun. But I'm just, it's literally 10 a.m. So yeah. Um, I'm just about to, we're gonna go and get some brekkie in Burley probably, and then go for a walk. So I'm just trying to um, put myself together even though I feel like absolute shit, but I need to get out of the house. Well, yeah, that was my night last night. I don't know how people can do that every weekend, honestly. Anyways, I need to put moisturizer on. I'm really loving this Laneige range that they sent me. Um, oh, that one I haven't tried. Yeah, I'm really liking it. Really hydrating. I've put myself together. And we're off. 